Hey everyone, so we're going to be doing a video on our three newest fur farm rescues. They're doing great by the way, so they went to the vet, they got spayed, the boy got neutered, and uh, the two girls are getting adopted to rescues in Michigan. So you guys are going to be able to follow the you know, You're done. You're done. Come on guys. Let's go to Michigan! <laughs> so like Michaela said, we have two fur farm rescues that need to go to their new homes in Michigan. I'm going to take them there. I think it's about a 1200 mile round trip and I kind of hate driving boring cars, so I'm going to take this. And before someone comments about me buying that car with donation money, I had that way before I even stepped foot on Save a Fox. Um, and I came here to volunteer. So I don't know why people judge a volunteer for their vehicle choice, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, not to mention, you can't just you can't just buy things like that with donation money. That's, the IRS would notice. <laughs> we have to make a couple modifications to get two kennels to fit in this car. So let's pull it inside where it's warm and, and rip it apart. All right, so first I'm gonna go pop the fire extinguisher out of there. Oh, there we go. And next we have four bolts. One right there, and one right there, and then we've got one, oh, sorry about the mess, one there, and one over there. Oh, and we can yank this thing out of here. Just give it a big pull. Ugh. Okay, so I did some very quick vacuuming. Uh, I made myself a, <laughs> a little brace to support the kennel as it has to sit on that hump. So one kennel will go there, one kennel will go on the floor. I think that'll do it. We gotta put some towels down and, and <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, I'm about four hours behind schedule, but <laughs> getting it done. As usual. Yeah, no surprise <laughs> there. Um, so I'm gonna load up, uh, what's the color? Dusty, dusty gray? That's what you call it, yes. but it's a sapphire. Sapphire <laughs> and Dakota gold. Yes. <laughs> no names yet, I don't, not that I know of, uh, but where they're going, we'll select their names. So I'm gonna put them in the kennels. This one's gonna be easy. Well, that one's not gonna be so easy. So I'll probably just do the easy one first. And when I picked them out, I thought the Dakota gold was the sweeter one. Boy, yeah. was I wrong. She's mean. She's not. Well, she's just scared. She's stressed. I so I guess I'll just do the easy She'll one first. She'll get better. So we'll tip the kennel up like this. We already got fresh hay in there and everything. Hi. You're actually very friendly, so I'm not too worried about this. Okay, I guess I have to go in here because I can't. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> I'd be pretty terrified if you crawled in the cage with yeah. me, too. Oh, I don't know if she just peed on me. Maybe that was you. I might have peed a little bit. Okay, in you go. In you go. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> in you go. In you go. Uh, head, head first. Head first. Head first. Okay. Ethan's only two years in fox handling, but he's doing a great job. I haven't done much fox handling lately. <laughs> All right, so here's one. Just set her off to the side. Oh, this one's gonna suck. Try to try to flop her right into it. This is definitely a Michaela Fox, mm -hmm. not an Ethan Fox. <laughs> uh, I can set the cage on the floor if that's easier. Yeah, that would probably be easier. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that was risky. Okay, we're gonna go in that kennel. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was fun. Thank you. 
Yes, you are. I can tell by the ears. That made it easy. <laughs> okay, well, fun part's over. Now the stinky part begins. Don't forget, don't forget her carrot. Her carrot, yeah, she needs her carrot. Oh, yeah. That's... So we have uh, the Dakota Gold up here next to me, and the Sapphire in the back right there. And I got some snacks. And I put a blanket over them just to keep it dark and, you know, try to make it as, as less, least terrifying as possible. And I also have a, a scent packet because, oh, it's going to get stinky in here. <laughs> All right, I think we're just about ready to go. Got my winter gear up here. Jacket, boots, hot hands, little hazard sign. Just in case because it is like 20 degrees outside, which is a lot nicer than it has been, but I want to be on the safe side. And also a tow hook. <laughs> That's worst case. Worst, worst case. Hopefully we don't have to deal with any of that. So we're in here with uh, Fox 1 and Fox 2. And it's it's 2.30, is that right? Oh, it's 2.30. <laughs> I have 10 hours. So, it's time to get moving. Got a full tank of gas. Roads are uh, not the greatest. And 630 miles to go. So, oh, it's going to be a long one. over the, the Mipiskippi River and headed into Wisconsin. So we're leaving Minnesota right now. It's very pretty. I'm kind of low, so you can't see very well. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm sitting here at the gas station and um, you know, just minding my own business, giving the foxes fresh water. And, and there's a guy like, kind of like looking at my car, like, oh, you drive this in the winter? I was like, yeah. He's like, How do you, don't you just go in the ditch? I'm like, no, I have snow tires. And he's like looking at the tires. He's like, what? They 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 make snow tires in that size? And I'm like, yeah, they do. And, uh, and then he's like, what, what, what's, what are you doing in there? What's under those blankets? And I'm like, oh, it's foxes. And he's like, what do you mean? What do you mean it's foxes? And I'm like, literally, it's two red foxes. And I let him look in the kettle. And he's just like, what? I, are you even, what are you doing right now? Is it legal? And he's like, who even are you? <laughs> about two hours away gassing up using the bathroom and then we're gonna finish it up Ooh, it's cold it's about 12 degrees out right now foxes are doing good I'm gonna check check on little foxes huh. uh, hello hi uh, you're stinky <laughs> they haven't pooped yet but they're just kind of stinky by nature we're four minutes out. We will be pulling up shortly. The roads here are, oh geez. Uh, but yeah, we're almost there. And then I can uh, get the foxes out of the car, get some sleep. And uh, then in the morning we will uh, take them to their, to their new homes. And then I will head home. We made it here. Foxes are in the garage and we'll take them to their homes tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I'm going to get some sleep. <sighs> okay. Did I do that? Oh my god. The tiniest little Yeah, they're so small. Tiniest <laughs> roots forever. Alright, it's like you're good. Okay. Alright. Here, Felix. Come on. Look at that. Is that friend? Look at his friend. You guys should just open it up. Uh, what if they fight? Do they fight? They could. They could. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because no one's doing anything. Too much of us. They're nervous. Do you have bite gloves or anything like that? or Inside. just? I would grab those first, just in case. Okay. That way, if they do fight, you don't have to stick a bare hand in between them. <laughs> yep, and then just step out of the enclosure and see what they do. <laughs> Has Felix even noticed that the kennel's open? <laughs> No, thanks. Hide them so he doesn't associate with gloves. Thanks. Thanks. 
Right. Turn around. Look, there's a fox. There's another fox behind you. You're not going to say hi? I don't even think you've noticed yet. No, he's focusing on because I'm... She's little. Yeah, she is. Yeah, very little. <laughs> I hope he doesn't jump down and spook her. Hi. He's <laughs> really into her. <laughs> He's curious but, but cautious. At least there's lots of yet. Nope. Spy on him through the camera too, so that's a bonus. Hi. <laughs> that's cute. It's ice on the diet. All right, so it looks like these two are a success. <laughs> Felix is uh, the Dakota Gold Fox's new best friend. And we've got one more fox to drop off. So we've got fox number two here. Hi. And you are hopefully going to be friends with Quentin, who is hiding. Yeah, it definitely complicates things. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might just open her up. Yeah, they both seem pretty, yeah. pretty chill. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna. I think it's the only way he's gonna. Is he uh, more of a submissive fox or? Yeah. Oh, okay. He was definitely submissive to Ava. Oh, okay. He gets sassy like <laughs> occasionally with me when you know, like creating and that type of stuff. Yeah, just the usual. <laughs> but... Oh, she's in your house. <laughs> Are you guys going to be best friends? Or oh. each other? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Glidden. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> They're, They're both, both just frozen. frozen. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and freeze. Well, that's foxes. <laughs> freeze or run. Yep. My favorite is the freeze and poop <laughs> while trying to run. Happens to the best of us. He's so, not and... gonna take you to the vet. Oh, he's no, he's more nervous about us. About us, oh. Yes, no, he thinks we're going to crate him or clean his enclosure. Oh, hi. She hates, oh yeah, Hello Will is there. super friendly. <laughs> There's Moby. Hi. I'm Steve the Fox. Yeah. Thanks for pooping all over the bench. So she's a, a Violet, right? Yeah, Violet yeah. is the raffle winner. Violet and Quentin. Quentin is back there. They're tolerating each other. I think Quentin's kind of freaked out by me being here. Yeah. And Violet's just freaked out by the whole situation. I think they're going to get along, but I, I think it's going to take some time to adjust. They've kind of, they've done a little bit of arguing, but nothing like violent. I think they're just going to need some time to acclimate to a new setting and to a new friend. I won't be here to see them become best friends, but that's okay. That looks like a success to me, and it's time to cruise home. I'm gonna clean out the kennels first because they're very stinky. Kennels are broken down, and uh, it's time to hit the road. We've got a 10 hour drive, it's, well, that's just one, one stop. <laughs> it's gonna be a late one. expect to see out in this weather. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, there's salt on the road. How is this acceptable as a public road? Everything is shaking. <gasps> oh man, Chicago's busy. Uh, <laughs> I just got, a, got out of stop and go traffic and uh, even now it's, it's congested for sure. <laughs> Okay, 
We made it back, back to Save a Fox. It's very, very late. It's about three in the morning. Uh, I'm super tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching. That was a lot of driving for two days. Woo!